What does it say that Craig Breslow was at least willing to part ways with Chris Sale, who I think most of us um, knew probably was going to end up on the injured list again this year and not be much of a contributor? Yeah, I mean, it says a couple of things. It says, one, they're finally in business and that this offseason <laughs> has officially started for them, which is something we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for. You deal sale, you've created an opening in your rotation, which already needed help, so you're going to have to fill that. So I think we're going to start to see more moves, so that's good. And the other thing is it does show how business is changing. Heim Bloom had the opportunity, per Rob Bradford at WEEI, to trade Chris Sale to the Rangers. He didn't do it. He couldn't pull the trigger. This was a problem. You have Breslow who comes in and says, I am going to be decisive. I am going to take action. I think this is proof of that. And on top of it, he got a potentially okay player for him in Von Grissom, a young second baseman with some power. He's a 320 hitter lifetime in the minor leagues, home in his debut at Fenway. So you got something for him as well. It wasn't just a straight dump. So it's like, all right, we're just going to need to see a lot more of this. Okay, so the only thing when you're talking there that like caught, a couple things caught my ear. One, they finally entered the ring. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Like, welcome to the party. Everybody else has been in it since, you know, mid-November. Two, you had a potentially okay player in Von Grissom. And then you add Lucas Toledo, who had like a 4.50 ERA last year and I think is like 19 and 24 over his last two seasons. Like, where's full throttle? Yeah, I mean, there is no full throttle right now. Like, Giolito, to me, if he's the second or third best guy you get this winter, then you can say it's a success. If it ends up that he's the biggest acquisition you make for your rotation, then you are in serious trouble. I think the Red Sox look at him as a guy because he was he got Cy Young votes in 2021, where he's not that far removed from being good. Last two years have been terrible. Second half of last year was abysmal, but they look at under the hood. I know we all hate this, but they say, you know what, the fastball's still there. The shape of his pitches is still there. He just needs tinkering. So they hope there's something there, but big picture, full throttle, we have not seen that yet. What, what I don't know that we will.